So in today's video, I'm gonna show you an easy method for illustrating people in Procreate. I'm not very skilled with drawing, and this video will also highlight a few tricks I use to get a refined illustration, even if the original drawing isn't very good. And of course, to get started, the first thing I'm gonna do is make a rough sketch of what I wanna paint. And I'm not giving the proportions or anything like that uh, any thought at this point. After that, I'll start to refine this kind of skeleton and uh, add a few features like clothing or accessories. It still looks pretty rough at this point, and the proportions are still weird. Uh, I'll show you how to fix those in a minute. For now, I'm just going to paint in some colors really roughly. I like to do this as early as possible because it gives me a chance to kind of think about my color palette, and also a chance to fix any mistakes I might have made in the sketch. And after that, we can finally move on and fix these proportions. And to do this, I'm just going to use the arrow tool set to warp and I'm gonna push and pull and bend the drawing just until the proportions feel right. I'm totally going on intuition here, there's no science to this. I'm also gonna use this as a chance to balance the character and make the posture a little more relaxed. And once my character is looking proportioned and balanced, I'm just gonna trace over the top of it and make my final refined version of the sketch. And once our drawing is clearly planned out like this, we can move on to the painting. So here's my refined sketch, and then here's the original idea. I'm keeping it off to the side just so I can use it as a reference. For the sketch though, that's this one here, I'm gonna move it above the paper texture, and I'll set the transparency to multiply. Then I'll lower it so I can barely, barely see the sketch. And of course, to start painting, I'm just gonna select a blank layer underneath the watercolor texture. And my usual process is to use the abstract round brush to just roughly fill in each element of our illustration like this. After that, I use the eraser brush and I just cut back my sketch so it follows the drawing a little bit more closely. And after that, I'm gonna go through and do the same process for each element of this illustration. There we go, that's looking pretty good. And uh, I've organized uh, each color here or each element so it's on its own layer. And you can see that here. Here's the hair, here's the face, the uh, jeans and the shirt, and then the yellow raincoat. And at this point, once all the main colors have been kind of laid down, I can focus on the shading and I think the jacket here is gonna make a good example. So I'm gonna make sure the jacket layer is selected. And I do almost all the shading with the selection tool. So I'm gonna grab the selection tool and set it to freehand. And as an example, I'll make a selection just on the top edge of the arms. I'll do add so I can do another one over here. Then I can go to hue, saturation, and brightness and I can just darken that a little bit. And I'm gonna go through and do all the shading just like that. And for this part of the process, it's always helped me if I kind of think of this like I'm carving a block of wood. Now once the shadows are all done, you could go through and use the same process to add highlights, but I think this illustration looks fine without it. And next, I'm gonna move on and start adding some details. So on the face here, I'm gonna do those on their own layer, and I'll make sure it's above everything. And I'm just gonna use the fine liner pen brush to kind of rough those in. And I really like it when the nose kind of blends with the face. So to do that, I'm just gonna use the water blender brush and I'll just soften that edge. Now for the last few details and outlines, I wanna use the Fraisinet brush that I mentioned in a previous video. 
It's a default uh, brush in Procreate. You can find here under the Drawing tab, and it's this one here, Freysonette. And I'm going to use this to do the uh, rosy cheeks. And the last step here is really just to add outlines. And I prefer to add those on their own layer above everything. And I'll set the transparency of that to multiply. And again, using the Freysonette brush and some kind of a dark color like that, I'm going to go through and add some light outlines wherever I think the contrast needs a little bit of help. And of course, if the outlines are too dark, we can just lower the opacity of the outline layer and set it to a point where they're just barely visible. And just like that, uh, this cute illustration is all done. And here's a look at the final result. And that pretty much wraps it up. Now for this character, the face is really, really simple because I wanted to keep the video as short as possible. But if you want to dive in and paint some more complicated and detailed faces, go ahead and check out this tutorial up here.